24 hours that an unregistered wizard set magical beasts loose in New York? Yes. Where is this man? As a Potterhead, thank you for oh, this dude. movie. Yeah, nice, thanks. It's, bro. Uh, I, I've read that you are a Potterhead yourself. It's true. Uh, it's true. It's you true. can confirm it. So confirm. I have a lot of uh, great memories of m those years when I was a kid, a teenager, reading the books, seeing the movies. I want to know if you have uh, uh, um, your favorite memory of, of those years as a Potterhead. An anecdote. Yeah, yeah I really do. Um, I was on a camping trip with my father, a, a very rugged fly by the seat of our pants camping trip in which we were essentially just driving around rural Pennsylvania, finding campsites and we had a tent in the back of my dad's car. And one night we were camped out uh, and the the rain started to come down. And at first it's nice, you're cozy in the tent, and then it really started coming down. What was actually happening, we found out later, was it was the, um, it was the edge of Hurricane Katrina. Uh, and so suddenly our tent was filling up with water and we realized we could not camp uh, that night. So we packed up all our stuff, but here we are in the middle of Pennsylvania. So we put all the stuff in the car and we just drove through, through the night. You know, being awake all night with your dad is sort of a strange, uh, extraordinary occasion. And we listened to the sixth Harry Potter book. And you know, my experience of Harry Potter started with my father. He was the first performance of Harry Potter I ever knew when he read me the first book when I was seven. And so, at that point, I was a little older and I'd started listening to the audiobooks and reading the books myself. But for us to listen to that book together, um, we drove all through the night and we listened to the whole book. And we were both crying when Dumbledore died. And you know, Dumbledore is a paternal figure in many ways, so to go through that morning with Harry, with my father, was very meaningful. And then I remember that we pulled over in this parking lot of this diner and we fell asleep. Uh, and we woke up and we, we went and got breakfast and it's just a beautiful memory of my life. So thank you for asking, I'm sorry the answer was so long. <laughs> I won't let another one die. I refuse to bow down any longer. Time is running out, Mr. Commander.